Hello indie game fans, welcome back to I Dream of Indie, I'm Old Gamer Joe coming at you with another review today. We're looking at Tamarin for the PC Steam platform. This game will also be available on PlayStation 4. It is in development for Xbox One, no release date so far on that one, but it is in the works. The game is currently priced at $39.99. You can get a deluxe edition on Steam which will be $49.98. It was developed and published by Chameleon Games and it's in action-adventure 3D platformer. Tamarin doesn't actually feature too much of a story, it doesn't necessarily need one to get its point across either, essentially nature is under attack here, and it's your goal to stop these insects who have invaded from destroying the planet. You'll need to save birds along the way, as well as other cute little creatures. The game does take place in a 3D world broken up into a variety of different sections and it's interesting because the gameplay can change from a third person shooter of sorts at times right into a more traditional 3D platforming adventure game where you're trying to collect all of these different items and advance forward. So yes, I was a little bit surprised when I was handed an Uzi towards the beginning of the game, but nonetheless it was somewhat of a pleasant surprise. I did enjoy the mashup here and the shooting mechanics are pretty basic. You can lock onto enemies that are up high and try to take them out that way. Way, though the lock-on feature isn't always reliable, or a lot of the action is simply running around the world and trying to blast enemies at a distance. You do get a few different types of guns in this game, and some of them will be needed in order to open up gates that can block your progress, but for the most part it's just point and shoot, nothing too extreme here, pretty basic stuff, but sound enough mechanically, it gets the job done. Again, that lock-on feature was a little bit wonky, but you can take cover at certain points in this game depending on the enemy that you're facing. There's crates that you can kind of hide behind, there's no actual cover system per se, but it does help you to avoid some damage. The other half of this game, the more open 3D explorative sections, are really a lot more fun though than the core shooting mechanics. There's a good variety of different items for you to collect in these areas, and you can also roll into enemies as well as ground and pound them to death. The main goal is to collect fireflies, which will help you to progress further and further into this world, and you'll do so in a variety of different ways. There are time trials, for example, that you can trigger, and you'll have to dash quickly to the area where a coin appears in hopes of unlocking another firefly. Fireflies sometimes can just be right out in the open and you'll have to track them down. You do have to lock onto them and then jump into the firefly and sometimes they'll try to get away from you. It's all a bit reminiscent of classic 3D platforming adventure games such as Banjo-Kazooie and that makes sense because you had some of the folks that used to work with Rare working on this title. The jumping mostly feels good and the camera was mainly cooperative throughout my play session. I will say that at certain points during the shooting sections of this game, maybe the camera zoomed in a little too tight and that could cause some issues. Overall, I found that mechanically Tamarin was pretty sound. I didn't have any frustrations with the gameplay itself and it was fun to explore the different environments even though the game has a pretty short runtime of around seven, maybe eight hours if you're trying to do everything. Graphically, I felt like Tamarin looked really excellent on the PC. I was able to play the game maxed out at 4K, and it really was a feast for the eyes at times. Some of the open environments with the beautiful lush forests just look great. Some of the more enclosed areas of this game, like a factory that you'll deal with fairly early on, don't look as good as the open sections, but still, they get the job done. There's a lot of charm and personality in the character designs, but I have to say, in the more open world sections of this game, it does feel a little empty at times. Maybe it needs more of these enemies and other creatures inhabiting that world and again there's no real storyline going on here outside of the main mission which is to help restore the balance of nature but on the whole I really did think this was an incredible looking title at times some of the graphics had me stopping and staring at my screen for a while you know, when I was listening to this soundtrack, I was thinking to myself, man, these songs remind me a lot of Donkey Kong Country, and that makes sense because David Wise actually did this soundtrack. I just now learned that actually while I was researching this review. It makes perfect sense now because there's some really excellent tracks here, very reminiscent of the Donkey Kong Country series. This is a fantastic set of compositions. I really did enjoy this soundtrack. It surprised me. I wasn't aware of his partnership on this game, but boy, he really comes through with another excellent soundtrack. There's the groovy jungle-like beats that he's known for, really peaceful melodies, all really comes together beautifully and does make the world feel a little more vibrant despite the fact that it can be a bit empty at times. 
Sadly, not everything is perfect in Tamarin. I did lose my save progress to an unfortunate glitch, and that cost me about four to five hours of playtime, and that meant going all the way back through because my video capture also crashed. So I wasn't able to get as much footage here as I would have liked, and that's really a bummer because I was pretty close to beating the game. Always frustrating, and it's hard to look at a game the same way when you have something like that happen. And I will admit I was pretty angry for a while, but I'm not going to completely hold it against Tamarin because it is a really fun game at the end of the day. Hopefully you don't run into an unfortunate glitch like I did. It's a playable experience. It doesn't rewrite the book. It doesn't try anything extremely new or different, but I did like the fusion of shooting mechanics mixed with 3D adventuring. I do think that the price tag is a little bit steep because you don't get a ton of hours out of this one, but still, this is a perfectly playable, fun 3D adventure game that's worth your time. So will you be checking out Tamarin? Let us know in the comments section below. And if you have enjoyed our coverage today, consider hitting the subscribe button. Help us to bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming. There's a ton of other ways that you can support I Dream of Indie down in the description box below. That includes checking out our merchandise store as well as becoming a member here at the channel. However you end up doing so, we thank you so much.